What's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add ROMs, aka games, to PPSSPP without a computer on iOS 8. If you don't have PPSSPP, you can learn how to get it by following the link in the description below. This has been highly requested, but unfortunately, it does require a jailbreak as you'll need access to root via iFile. With that being said, let's head into Cydia and get iFile. Now iFile does not require any external sources so you can simply head into the search and type in iFile. From here you can install the package at the top right and it does give you a free trial for a certain amount of time and you can choose to buy it if you want to like I did. However, once you have iFile installed we can head home and into Safari where we'll go to our favorite ROM site to get ROMs. In this case, I'll be going to coolrom.com, but if it doesn't work for you, a popular alternative is doperoms.com. Anyways, upon entering at coolrom.com, I'm going to select ROM file and then Sony PlayStation Portable. From here, you'll have access to a ton of PSP games, but remember to only download games that you own or else you'll be pirating. Anyways, in this case, I'm going to head into top 25 downloaded and select God of War. Once you select a game that you would like to download, you'll be sent to a page specifically for that game. And from here, you can find tons of information about the game. You can find the download link, the file size and all of that good stuff. And something to note is that PSP ROMs are very big file wise. This game is almost a gigabyte. So the download will take a very long time. Um, for me, it took almost 30 minutes. So you'll have to be patient. And unfortunately, there's no way to check your progress unless you get an external tweak from Cydia. Anyways, when the download is done, you can select open in. And then as you can see, there's no way to open in PSSSPP. So we'll have to go through iFile. Now, once you open iFile, you can click on the ROM and it will give you a multitude of options. But of course, as it goes into iFile, this will take some time because it's a very big file. And of course, hopefully you do have enough room on your iOS device to move this file into iFile. But anyways, once you get into iFile, it'll ask you to zip viewer, unarchiver, and a ton of other things. What you wanna select is unarchiver, which will unzip and take out the files from the .7z file which is a compressed file again this will take some time because it's a very big file but when it's done it'll say everything is okay and that's how you know that it is good and you can select done at the top right here you can now see that we have our god of war .iso file and we can delete the .7z and the readme by selecting edit clicking them move to trash and then of course you need to empty the trash to permanently delete them now once we have that we can select edit Click on God of War, ISO, and cut. From here, we're going to move it into the PPSSPP directory. So you want to go into VAR Mobile, Containers, Data, Application, and from here, unfortunately, you will not be able to see the names of the apps. Um, this is specifically because iOS 8 moved the locations of the file, and even if you have application names on, it will not display it. So you'll have to search each folder. However, if you already have PPSSPP, you can open the application and it'll tell you the actual digits for the folder and you can just simply find that folder by scrolling through all the folders, which of course is very cumbersome, but it is what it is. Now, once you find your PPSSPP folder, you'll know that it's a PPSSPP folder because it'll have the PPSSPSP folder in documents. So head into documents and here is where you're going to want to select edit. Then you're going to want to hit the clipboard at the bottom right and paste. Then your game will be in PSPP. And if you'd like, I highly recommend that you set up a bookmark here by selecting the book at the bottom, then hitting bookmarks and selecting the plus sign. As you can see, I already have a bookmark there. I named it PPSSPP. And this gives you easy access for getting back to this folder in the future. Anyways, when you head into PS, PPSSPP, you'll see that your game is now there.
Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, then please leave a like as it supports these tutorials immensely. If you're interested in watching more of my videos, I make tutorials on jailbroken and non-jailbroken devices alike and I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you enjoy. If you're interested in being notified whenever I upload a video, please hit that subscribe button, it is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.